Oh hi, I'm Funnel. Welcome to episode 3 of my tutorial series. Well, this is episode 3B. And in this, you seemingly don't have a 3D printer, but don't worry, I got you covered. Because I will show you some alternatives on how you can make the 3D printer parts, like the teeth and the hinges. The only thing we're missing now are the, the fur, the hinges and the teeth. Now, I have gotten myself some super simple cheap clay I got at the dollar store. Remember how much this was? Probably just yeah. Um, this was two bucks, two fifty. Would say oh, you will also need some wires. The most craziest thing you'll need is aluminium foil. Trust me, it's gonna make sense. Now there's two ways. Actually, three ways you can make this, which are all different factors of simple and hard. Now, you can make the teeth 100% out of clay. You will then to get wires inside of them to the bottom, so you have the teeth blocks and the wires. So the wires go in here, settling hard, so, so they don't really get teared off easily. To get those in here, you will need some kind of Dremel or a drill. So be sure that you have such tools around you. If there's still a more, uh, there's still a way you can do this by simply, whilst it's not right yet, putting the wires inside it. Or my second option, which is a bit more complicated. And the third option is once again something completely new. <sighs> now. I rarely work with clay. Now, since I don't need a full set of teeth, like I don't need all eight, I'm just gonna make myself one out of each. Show you how you can glue this onto some spare piece of foam. So, I'm gonna glue the three types of tooth in here so you can see how simple it works. Do a little stress test too. I'm also gonna weigh the teeth which one is lighter and yeah let's get into it I think it would be nice to start off simply the clay so I'm gonna get myself a little board like a cutting board and a cup of water got myself my cutting board and water. This looks more like warm beige and it says light gray. Damn you liar! So first off, the most important thing is the size of the teeth. Now, they are three centimeters long, half a centimeter thick, and two centimeters tall. A little bit of water. You can make this way smoother. That works well, very well. Because the thing is, you don't want any fingerprints on it. You want them smooth, yes? The next way is take some aluminium foil. Super basically explained I'm making a lightweight aluminium core and then putting clay around it. Make it thin. Yeah, yeah, make it thin and then just wrap it around the aluminium thing. Yeah. And basically roll it around this aluminium foil. This is my second way of a tooth alternative is taking something you probably have if you want to make this head taking foam and then you want to dunk this in paint a lot don't have white but blue will work too <laughs> so you're gonna hang your thing down and then whenever you need to dunk it you can just whoop and whoop 
And at some point when it's dry, it should have this glossy white finish, and then it will be a glossy blue. <laughs> I have to clean my fingers off the blue. Huh? Hey! So this, um, I like second part, um, the teeth pieces have, um, dried. Um, let's just go to my desk, I'm gonna show you. Mr. B- No. So, uh, I'm here now, on the table, and I've got my three pieces. But, I have a tiny issue. The one, the blue one, I got lazy, and... <laughs> Normally you have to like daily, like always just dip it until it's like... Like you think you just dip it 10 times once and it's done? No. You have to like dip it, wait until it's dried, dip it, wait until it's dried. Like for how long? A week? And it's like too much work for me. Call me lazy on that. I'm gonna do like all the tests first and then I'm gonna show you how you can on your foam attach it if there's gonna be like time stamp right here so if you don't want to look at the testing which is gonna be fun just skip ahead but trust me it's, i'm gonna make it fun now most important infos first wait like wait is very important so i've got myself oh there we go i've got myself a little weight thing on aluminium piece you need the aluminium and it's like no like really different than this one just ignore that it's like really fucking shitty shape <laughs> like I said I just literally put it there in in the head oh why did you turn around <laughs> so I'm taking this the heavy one and it is 13 grams now as an example I've got this one, a 3D printed one, that I also put paint around. And the 3D printed one, let's say because it's like, hmm, it's around a third, it's like 9 grams, yeah? So the 3D printed version is 9 grams, whilst the clay one is 13. 4 gram difference, but then times 16, that's quite a big amount. This one is definitely lighter by... <laughs> this would be even lighter than the 3D one, but this was just in theory. So you say you're strong, right, Clay? Well, let's see who was the last one talking. Holy shit, there's a hole in my fridge! Now, we're going to also need to find a replacement for the hinge mechanism. Since we don't have a free printer, we can't print this. So, there's two ways. You can first off just connect the entire jaw with wires on the left and right. Works, makes it attached. That's what I did at first. But of course, if you move it a lot, it's gonna break off. In a more complicated way, because you probably have like these packages and I would say they have somewhat very sturdy plastic. Now what if I basically remake this out of these plastic sheets? So you need two of these lines, a piece of wire, very small piece, like one centimeter long. And what we'll do is both we're gonna bend around by the half. So you have both these little thicker pieces. So you can now choose to drill a hole or you can choose to just poke it through anything that works to you. I'll just quickly use my Dremel. And done. So make sure that the wire fits through the hole. Then you will need to drill a hole on both end pieces and then you want your wire you're gonna glue that in there you're gonna cut with the bottom piece this little corner away 
you see this, this piece and then you want to hot glue this kind of L shape around the upper hole. Now after both the pieces are dried, I'm gonna assemble it by opening this and getting that in there so that the wire goes through both the holes like this and then you have your homemade hinge it is basically what I have 3d printed but of plastic you can also of course add a little spring and with a wiring piece it will spring back up you see of course if you're not careful it's just gonna spring out but yeah that's your DIY version of the 3d printed one hope this helped you with finding alternatives for making the teeth and the hinges you can look at the next video part 4 and good luck with your cosplay